holds an eternal mystery and the answer to a prophecy, the appearance of an animal said to be capable of changing the world. The legend of the red heifer is as old as the Bible itself. A commandment told Moses to sacrifice a sacred red cow as part of a ceremony of ritual cleansing. Animal X traveled to Israel and the holy city of Jerusalem to investigate what many believe is a modern day miracle. Orthodox Jews spend many hours here at the Wailing Wall praying for the arrival of their Messiah. They believe that before he comes, certain biblical prophecies must be fulfilled. One of them is the birth of a pure red heifer. Now many believe that prophecy has come true. Her ashes are used in order to purify a person who wishes to enter the area of the Holy Temple. Rabbi Shmaria Shaw normally runs an agricultural school, but now he's in charge of a gift from God. He says at first the heifer looked like any normal young cow, but incredibly it became clear she fulfilled all the biblical requirements of a sacred animal. She has to be free from blemishes. For that reason we've put her here in solitary confinement. The other cows will not bother her and uh, we have not shaved off her horns, she has not been branded, her ears have not been pierced. According to biblical scholars, the significance of the red heifer appears in the Old Testament book of Numbers, chapter 19. To purify the people of Israel, it says, a young red cow must be killed and its carcass burnt. The ashes dissolved in a cistern of water become the waters of purification. Small amounts cleanse people of religious impurity, especially following contact with the dead. In ancient times, the water allowed worshippers to enter the great temple, which was destroyed 2,000 years ago. Scholars believe the appearance of a new red heifer portends the building of a new temple. And after that, the Old Testament says God will appear as a Messiah to change the world. The ashes of the original seven red heifers would have the same effect, but they've been lost for over 2,000 years, perhaps until now. To add to the mystery, this man, Vendel Texas Jones, claims he's finally discovered the cave where they're hidden in the Judean desert. So we might say we're here on the very X marks the spot. Since 1967, using one of the Dead Sea Scrolls as his guide, Vendel Jones has been tracking the elusive ashes. So far, excavations have revealed a jug of anointing oil and huge quantities of a red powder, probably spices, which he believes were hidden when the original Holy Temple was destroyed and the Tabernacle of Sacrifice disappeared. Vendel Jones says he's convinced that the ashes of the original red heifer lie in another cave, below where he's already dug. He says ground-penetrating radar shows a cavern, but for the moment he can do no more. The authorities have withdrawn his permit. The next step is uh, to finish the story of the Raiders of the Lost Permit and get a permit to continue our dig here without interruption. Animal X soon found out just how seriously the Israeli authorities take those searching for the ashes of the red heifer. They ordered us to leave. Some of the people in the department said that I'm having problems because I was too lucky. We found the anointing oil, we found the incense, and just about three miles over there we found the, uh, the, where the tabernacle stood with the boundary around it. And uh, these are uh, very significant finds. I don't know whether they feel intimidated by our success or whether maybe they may be afraid that if we find these things, everything in Israel is going to change. In fact, everything in the world is going to change. Hi, Chaim Richman is an internationally recognized biblical scholar and an expert on the Red Heifer prophecy who's watching developments closely. I like to look at it in the sense of kind of like a wake-up call. Um, all of these things happening in the age that we live in are kind of like indications, um, almost like the voices that you hear in a faraway room that you can't quite make out. 
that something is going on, that the film is on fast forward and that the time of our redemption is at hand. As we approach a new millennium, the red heifer may be a sign the world is waiting for.